Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Shardlight. We're here at the Cathedral of St. Stephen, and it looks like we are about to go on a vision quest. So let's head through this door and see what exactly this is all about. And... Oh, that's not disconcerting at all. No music? Oh, there's the decanter. I wonder if that's someone's grave. That would be disrespectful. Nice. I bet it was even prettier when it was operational. No coins in it, unfortunately. It's pretty, but also kind of scary. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. She watches o'er us all, protecting with her light. Though shadows may grow tall, she won't give up her fight. She watches or Interesting. A decanter of liquid underneath the bench. Well, that's not suspicious at all. Indeed. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. <sighs> I'm so glad Gus and Pop aren't here to see this. Yeah. Dream Weaver. Whoa, hell's bells. Oh, my head is swimming. What was in that decanter? Amy. That sounded like Clem? You've sure had a hell of a time, huh, Amy? How are you holding up? You know what you have to do now, right? I don't know. I'm just ready to give up. Don't do that just yet. I can help you. Follow me. Like Wily e. Coyote? You will go to the Dagobah system. It's just hanging there. How is that even possible? What was in that decanter? The blood of Salvador Dali? Looks comfortable enough. I know that face from somewhere. Yeah, that's Tiberius. Take off the mask? I don't want to see what's underneath. I don't think I can reach it. I don't even think it's real. Do we still have our... We still have our stuff, which is interesting. Well, here we go. Why are we <laughs> here, Clem? I thought the whole point of this was to talk to the Reaper. You've got some jumbled thoughts going around your head. You need to get those sorted out. How am I supposed to do that? There's some folks who will help you with that. Hey, Amy. Denby. Hello again, Wellard. Oh, God, not you again. Hey, kiddo. Dad. Each of them is here to help you put your thoughts together. I'll just leave you to it. See you soon, Amy. Oh, this is, uh... This isn't good, but I figure out of everyone that Amy would want to talk to first. Dad looks so healthy. Dad, it's great to see you again. Great to see you too, kiddo. How have you been? I've been better. How come you never told me you were a rebel? Becoming a rebel was my choice to make. I wanted you to live as carefree as possible. The less you knew, the more time you could spend playing with your friends. Being a kid. I... I think I understand. Now, come on. We've got work to do. Right. Let's get back to work. It's been way too long. I've got to say, and this is kind of melancholy for me personally, how many people wish that they could do this? It looks like the one in the market district. It's running normally. It's so close to being done, and yet so far. So I guess we're, in this world, going to try to complete the Quicksilver? No speed limit? That sounds amazing. It's the Autobahn. Hey, the old girl's looking almost finished. You've done a great job restoring her, kiddo. Thanks. It hasn't been easy. We sure had some great times working on her, didn't we? 
Okay, let's get to work. Ah, oh, crap, I completely forgot. Gordon brought that fan in before. Said it was giving him trouble. I'll take care of it. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. That's my girl. Let's see here. There, kid stuff. Good going, kiddo. Now we can focus on the car. Right. Now we can get started. Well, wouldn't you just know it? If it's not one thing, it's another. Nelson's pump was always giving me problems. I'll, I'll take care of it. This is kind of a... Uh... Uh, compartmentalized version of all the stuff, all the frustration that something would break and Amy never got the time to work on the car with her dad. Right. This shouldn't take too long. Done. No sweat. Nice one. Watch, right before we fix the car, he'll be gone. Finally, we can get started. Have you been able to find the missing parts? Daddy, I'm so sorry. I wanted to finish fixing it. I I wanted to have something to remember you by. But I've been so busy running the shop and then I got sick and... I don't think I'm going to live long enough to be able to do it. Hey, now, none of that. It's alright. You've been dealt a horrible hand. Worse than most. And you've been so strong through it all. An old car isn't worth your life, kiddo. I just feel like I'm failing you. I'm so sorry. Failing me? Amelia Grace Wellard, you stop that nonsense right now. You've already done more with the Rebels than I ever did. It's gonna change the world. You've got too much left to live for. Too many people depend on you. You can't give up here. Okay. I, I know you're right. I think I just needed to hear someone say it. Thank you, Daddy. I'm your dad. It's what I do. It was great seeing you again. I love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Very good. Now jump. So she just got that closure that she needed. Uh, let's go ahead and do the guard next, because I want to save Denby for last. I thought I killed you. Indeed. And I almost killed you. Luckily for me, that moment lives on in your memory. Let's go revisit it, shall we? You know, I thought you were done for after our little disagreement. And then when the Reaper swooped in, pure poetry. What was it he said to you anyway? I'm dying to know. He said he could ease my pain. Oh, is that all? No. No, he said something else, just as I was blacking out. That's right, he did. What was it? I can't remember. Can't remember or don't want to remember. Mental blocks sure are problematic, aren't they? Voice actor reminds me a little bit of Willem Dafoe. There's blood dripping from the end of it. I'm feeling a sense of deja vu creepy looking thing. That's a statue from the church. I can't reach it from here. I don't know if it's real anyway. That's him. That's the Reaper. He's saying something to me, but what? I've looked better. I can't get to him. The stupid guard is in the way. Oh. I'd rather not get too close. It looks dangerous. You're in my way. Yes, that's the nature of mental blocks. What are you going to do about it? Oh, we've got the neat. Oh, there's the syringe. I'm really sick of you. We're not going to count that as a kill. your pain. I'm a doctor. 
Oh. Uh, doctor? Could that have been the doctor that we saw in the Ministry of Medicine? Denby, I'm so sorry. I wish I got to you in time. You didn't deserve this. Hey, don't apologize. It's not your fault. There's something I need to show you. Come with me. So that blew those two theories that I had out of the water. What's going on? You know how you've been seeing all those ravens? Yes, something has been bothering me about them. So think about it. What exactly is it about them that's bothering you? Okay, we got the toy airplane here. It's just going around in circles. Remind you of anyone? Hey, come on, don't spoil the fun. It's just a regular raven, like the ones I saw at Fripp Square and Pop's Farm. All they do is wait to eat things and make noise. Sure, that's what ravens do, isn't it? A raven with red eyes. This is like the one that helped me escape Rockwall. Hang on, I didn't realize just how crazy that sounds. How could a bird help someone escape from jail? I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me, too. It doesn't make sense. The ravens I've been seeing with the red eyes. I've never seen another living thing with eyes that glow like that. What sort of things have you seen that do? Shards, electric lights, artificial things. That's right. So that means these ravens aren't real? Makes sense to me. But they fly, and they clearly understand commands. Whoops. Of course, they're mechanical. But if that's the case, who's controlling them? Excellent question. You'll find an answer, I'm sure. You should head back. Don't forget what we talked about. I, I won't. Goodbye, Denby. I miss you. Miss you too, Amy. Take care of yourself. So the plot's thickening here. Get everything sorted? I think so, yes. Great. Time to send you back. Thanks for all your help, Clem. I'm sorry about... Don't you worry about that, Amy. I went out helping the Rebels. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Now you get yourself back, and you do your part. I know everything will turn out fine. Oh, and we're done. Man, I'll have what she's having. That was intense, but I only have more questions. I've got to find the Reaper. Only he has the answers. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? <laughs> you see the size of that chicken? Sorry, Young Gun reference. Uh, the raven has something in his mouth. Okay, you've obviously brought me something. Let's have it. Lady Twinner, Montgomery White. Painted over a period of six weeks, White's portrait of Lord Reginald Twinner's daughter was his last major piece before turning to a career in medicine. Renowned for the expression in her face, White admitted that the lady's eyes concealed some secret. What that may be has been the subject of much speculation. One of the better known modern portraits, portraits it remains in the Tweener family private collection. Interesting. This was uh, torn out of Nelson's art book. Page 13. Double check and make sure there's nothing on here we need to know about. All right. She watch it. Check and see if anything else has changed. It's empty. Don't take the decanter with us. Now, an interesting thing is what the acolytes are going to think about this. If we even tell them. Welcome back. I hope you were successful in your communion with the Reaper. So, should we go ahead and uh, have a chat? He looks right at home in here. 
What can I help you with? Have you had... Ooh. Have you experienced the vision? I attempted to, yes, but the Reaper did not see fit to grace me with his presence. Admittedly, I was a bit disappointed, but I plan to try again soon. I know he will speak to me when the time is right. I'll speak to you later. I look forward to it. Now, what about Jess? Well, did you have the vision? I did. It was certainly something. Wonderful. I won't ask any more. Each person's vision is unique and private, but I hope it gave you the guidance you were seeking. Oh, it did. Believe me. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. And we already talked to Ellie. Let's see if she has any new information. Hi, Ellie. Hello, Amy. I'm going to go now. We'll talk later. Have a blessed day. May death come for you swiftly. Well, that answers that. Now, the only other person... Would Maggie have had a vision? Hello there. Hi. Has the Reaper ever sent you a vision? No. Jess told my mommy I was too young for that. But the other night, I had a dream where I talked to the Reaper. He told me that when my time came, I would see my daddy again and have lots of candy. Have a good day. May the Reaper take you! Hmm. I don't see how I can use that there. No, just checking. Maybe Claire's seen something. Oh, we don't get to talk to Claire anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go talk to Nelson. Because we definitely need to see how that page got torn out of the book. Nelson, does this mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That page is from one of my art books. There was a young lady here several years ago who was reading it. And when she got to that page, she became very upset and tore it out. Ran off screaming about the Reaper. It was very odd. The Reaper? Yes, I think she said something about having seen him. As I said, it was many years ago. It's difficult to remember. That's fine. Thanks for the information. Uh-oh. So, we need to hand this back to Jess. Okay. Who knows how she's going to react, though. Her hair may go transparent if it's already white. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and violate the, the calm of this proceeding. Hey, Jess. Does this mean anything to you? Where... Where did you get that? A... Uh, raven brought it to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... No! No, not at all. That painting, it, it's what started all of this. This is clearly a sign from the Reaper. I'm not quite following here. Eighteen years ago, I was keeping my friend Wilson company while he was on a lottery job for Tiberius. He had been sent to fix a water pump, and the ruins of the building it was in had a copy of that painting. When he had finished the job, I, I asked him to get it for me, and... And? Apparently, Wilson had green lung, but hadn't told me. He said he was getting the vaccine for his sister. I saw a raven right before Wilson collapsed. The Reaper appeared shortly after. He came to claim Wilson's soul. That's when I had my epiphany. Where did this all happen? It was in Sector 67, in a collapsed building next to a parking lot. Huh. It's a long shot, but it might be worth investigating. I can only hope the Reaper visits you so you may find peace. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so she didn't... She didn't freak out like I assumed she would. So we got a new location to travel to. Junk. Ooh. 
Doesn't look like he's been here that long. Poor guy. I don't think I should get too close. Oh, with that green puke, he probably had green lung very badly. A Dunstan Algonquin. Cheap and reliable, but not the most fun to drive. Or so I've heard. Nothing useful. Looks like all the oil leaked out of the engine a long time ago. It looks like an old record player. Turntable, record arm. It's sad to see a nice machine just left to the elements like this. Nothing useful hidden underneath them. It's still in surprisingly good condition. This is still in really good condition. It might be worth having. Completely ruined. It's of no use to me. Okay. Every little bit helps. Huh. An old German model. The aristocracy must have missed this one during the purge. Picked clean. Not surprising. The parts for this were rare even before the bombs. Another old road sign. Doesn't look like people could go very fast around here. Probably a residential district. Nothing useful. Just a memory of whatever this building used to be. There's the painting. I really hope I don't end up like this. This corpse is missing its left arm. I wonder what happened to it. An old water pump. Kind of reminds me of the reactor in Sector 82. It seems to be running fine. There she is. Lady Twiner. Ooh. Lord. <laughs> That's not freaky. Now the eyes are going to... Look at me. It definitely feels like there's something behind the canvas, but I can't rip it with my bare hands. Okay. That's okay. We've got the medicine right here. It's kind of the opposite of the uh, Beauty and the Beast portrait. It looks like some kind of coin. It looks like... Let's grab that. A key on a key ring. Not what I was expecting. This can't be a coincidence. Someone is leaving me a trail. The ravens are leaving breadcrumbs, ironically. This corpse is missing its left arm. I wonder what happened to it. Cannibals, maybe? Now, is there anything more that we need to do here? The face is incredibly lifelike. I almost expect her to start talking to me. It's a really nice painting. Well, we've got a key and a coin. This symbol looks familiar. Where have I seen it before? Oh, I have seen that before. Um, hmm. Hmm. I wonder what this key unlocks. Well, let's head to the exit. And the reactor should be... Oh no, reactor's still there. It's not at the cathedral. The salt... It might be at the salt flats, actually. Yeah, it's the key to the train. Awesome. So we get to head into this train and see what exactly is inside. And we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.